just two weeks until election day, candidates are on a blitz through the battleground states that will decide the outcome of the presidential race in the U.S. Here's a look at the top developments. Now, it's not all about Kamala Harris and Donald Trump in the race for the White House. Green Party candidate Jill Stein is also on the campaign trail and she has a warning for Harris. Stein claimed that widespread anger among Arab Americans and Muslims over U.S. support for Israel's wars in Gaza and Lebanon could cost the, the, the Democratic nominee the election. Polls show Stein garnering just 1% in the November 5th election. However, Stein, who has been campaigning on a permanent ceasefire in Gaza and an immediate U.S. arms embargo on Israel, won 40% of the Muslim vote in Michigan in an August poll by the Council on American-Islamic Relations. We refuse to be talked into selling our souls, into compromising, into being talked, into affirming, endorsing, Genocide. Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris made a push to woo moderates in her rival's camp in three swing states. Harris had events scheduled in Pennsylvania, Michigan and Wisconsin. Rust Belt states that were in Trump's column in 2016, but crucial to President Joe Biden's victory four years later in 2020. Harris appeared in Pennsylvania alongside Liz Cheney, a prominent Republican who called on undecided voters to reject the kind of vile vitriol that we've seen from Donald Trump, quote unquote. Cheney, who endorsed Harris last month, said it was not a difficult decision to make as a politician or as a mother. Trump toured storm-damaged North Carolina and repeated conspiracy theories about the government's disaster response. Later, at a rally in Greenville, he hammered home his campaign message that immigrants were looting, ransacking, raping and pillaging the country. Trump also appealed to Arab Americans in a social media post calling Harris a war hawk over the White House handling of Israel's war with Palestinians in Gaza and, and Lebanese militant groups Hamas and Hezbollah. Lebanese militant group Hezbollah and of course Hamas which is based in Gaza. Now Trump has previously cast himself as Israel's protector and said the government of Benjamin Netanyahu must finish the problem in its war against Hamas. A new Washington Post Shar School poll of registered voters in Seven battleground states found support even at 47% for each candidate. Harris had a one-point lead among likely voters. Harris' campaign brought in and spent more than $200 million in September, more than three times as much as Trump, who is out on bail in two criminal cases and awaiting sentencing in a third over allegations of 2020 election-related misconduct. Despite the vice president's spending, polls suggest that the race has been tied since late August. And for more on this, our correspondent Susan Zerani sent us this report from New York. With just two weeks to election day, Donald Trump and Kamala Harris are virtually tied in seven key battleground states. Donald Trump was campaigning in North Carolina, pledging to restore hope to the U.S. and labeling Harris a threat to democracy. He also criticized President Joe Biden and the Democratic Party in general for replacing him with Harris. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris visited Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, focusing on Democratic issues like elder care and maternal health. Her event with Liz Cheney aimed to win over disaffected Republicans and the independent voters. Those in attendance had mixed feelings whether or not she was able to do that. For now, undecided voters are leaning towards the former president, Donald Trump, citing economic trust and concerns about Harris's vague policies. As Susan Tehrani reporting, from New York for We On, World is One.